All right, guys. Funny story. Funny story. You can probably tell by the title um, what this is going to be about, but the way it came about was certainly not ideal. And um, anyone that knows me properly would probably say, well, that's just like you, Jake. That's, that's just like you. So long story short, while I was in New Zealand, I crashed my drone. So <laughs> uh, I didn't tell anyone. I didn't tell YouTube. I didn't tell my family. I didn't tell fucking anyone because I was so embarrassed. These things are meant to be foolproof. They're meant to, you know, make it back every time. It was my mistake. I flew it away with way less battery than, than I should have. And it didn't end up coming back in time. It went down somewhere that I didn't know. And um, I guess the positive out of this is that I actually got some closure. So what happened was it went down to someone's property. I never ended up finding it. Um, I wasn't even going to fucking, I was going to make up flyers and put them around the bloody neighborhood and shit. I mean, it's a $1,500 machine, so it was worth it. But at the time I was so depressed, I just couldn't be fucked. The one thing I did do was call the police and say, I called the Brighton police department, which is that area. Um, and I said, look, I gave them the serial number, I gave them the description, not in the hope of ever, ever finding anything, but I, uh, you know, I told them what it was, if anyone found it, please give me a call, blah, blah, blah. Gave them my dad's number, because I was heading back to New Zealand in a week, I mean, back to Australia. So, left New Zealand, had no closure on the issue, but was still fucked off. And lo and behold, about three weeks later, my dad texts me and he said, what's the serial number for the drone? I think the police have found it. And I couldn't believe it. I <laughs> like, what the fuck? So um, I gave him the serial number. Turns out it was the drone. They found it. Hallelujah. Thank God. Took, still took me another month to get it back here in Australia because my dad's a slack cunt. But that's all right. Um, got it back. Opened it up. Ready to fucking fly it. And it's fucked. So... Positive is I got closure on the issue. I know where it went and I got it back. The negative is that it's fucked and I needed another one. So the camera was screwed. It must have taken a pretty big fall because the casing was like, like fucking opened and yeah, it wasn't good at all. Anyways, ended up selling it on, on uh, eBay, $250 for the whole thing. Someone got a bargain if they can fix it. Anyway, from there, I went to eBay <laughs> This isn't the end of the story. I went onto eBay and I saw a DJI Phantom 3, or what I thought was a 3, standard, with the two red stripes on it, and um, was, you know, so excited to buy it. I saw it, it was just the drone. I was like, holy shit, someone's actually got the deal I was looking for, just the drone, not the controller or anything, because I've still got that. Bought it, buy now, 600 bucks, boom, get it here. Once again, opening up the box, all ready to go, fucking excited, and, I'm like, what? what is this? This doesn't look like a Phantom 3, because it was a Phantom 2. So I'd gone and bought the wrong one. And actually, that's still here, and it's been a fucking headache. I tried to return it, the guy was being an asshole, wouldn't let me return it, even if, even if I gave him, you know, a hundred bucks. Um, fucking, it just, it was shit. So anyway, I've still got this one here now. I've actually just sold that one on eBay, so I'm about to send it. Sold it for 200 bucks, paid 600. The only reason I paid 600 is because I thought it was a, de a Phantom 3. You wouldn't pay 600 bucks for a fucking piece of shit like that. Sorry, 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 sorry. Excuse my language. Anyways, lost 400 on that. So that's, so that's um, probably about 1700 bucks lost so far. Um, and then, and then, uh, and then I thought I had it, I thought I had it sorted bought a brand new DJI Phantom 3 standard, which is the lower model. <sighs> Got it here, opened it up <laughs> once again and thought, yes, you know, ready to go, ready to go, let's do it. And I look at it and I think, hang on, that doesn't look like my old one. And what had happened is another version of, a, of the DJI Phantom 3 had been introduced to the series after I would bought my original one. When I first bought it, there was only two. And they both had awesome camera capabilities, but one was slightly less. This one has been brought on DJI Phantom Standard um, to basically be an intro model. So not only have you got a shittier camera, but 
the range is maxed at like 1.5 kilometers and i was getting my other one up to like 5 k's away and it's fucking maxed at um 400 feet in the air and my other one can go 1500 feet so i debated i debated i looked at it in the box i was like do i start using it because i know once i start using it i'm not gonna be able to return it and i thought nah there's so many so many places that i need to get this thing to that's way way longer than 1k so once again i've got the wrong one <laughs> and once again had to negotiate with the seller was able to return it with take away that like i'm paying the postage so it cost me 80 bucks to send it back so that's another 80 dollars i lost and now now guys now now is the time i got the right one i got the dji phantom 3 not the professional that i originally got with a 4k i got the uh advanced which is still got the same range it, it's exactly the same except the camera capability goes up to 2.7k as opposed to 4k which i thought was fine because you only you pay 400 dollars more for the 4k one i was like fuck it i broke the other one i'm not going to do it again so here it is guys here it motherfucking is finally and uh, i'm just going to open it right now You can imagine, I'm actually quite nervous. What if they sent me the wrong one? Ah! Oh, let's get this shit open. There we go. That's what you want. Boom. DJI Phantom 3 Advanced. With the silver little things, not the red ones that the standard has. And you know what? Return of the drone, motherfuckers. Return of the drone. She's back. And funnily enough, I'm actually going away this weekend, so I'm going to take it with me. And another good thing, the, the only positive out of this now is the fact that I've still got, um, I've still got my carry case that I paid extra for. I've still got two batteries um, from my old one. So now I've got three batteries. Um, you know, I've still got heaps of spare propeller blades, so fuck it. I've got two charges now, so I can charge the batteries faster. I mean, you've got to you've got to get a positive out of a negative, right, guys? And that's what I'm trying to do. So, <laughs> honestly, it's been a while, and I know some of you have probably subscribed because uh, because of the drone, because you wanted to see me do some drone videos. Well, I'll tell you right now, I've got some wicked ideas, and um, it's you know. It's a beautiful place around here in Central Australia, so we will be making some epic shit. And um, yeah, I guess you guys are just going to have to tune in and see. But that is my rant. I know it got a little bit heated there, but you can understand why. But it's all my fault. I'm such a fucking idiot. But I got it now. It's all good. Here it is. You beauty! Now we can get into some making some cool shit. So thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching me complain for 8 minutes and 30 seconds. And um, I will see you guys on the flip side.